Good afternoon, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to tell you about two simple tricks that can help you battle cravings. Here's what I mean when I talk about cravings. It's when you're not really hungry, but you're still in the mood to eat something. And usually it's a specific type of food. For example, most of us don't crave broccoli, but we do crave cookies or chips. I've got some tips to help you deal with those cravings when they strike. This matters because if you want to move better, feel better, and have more energy by improving your health, what you eat, what we eat, plays a critical role. Before I get into these tips, if you don't already know me, I'm Lisa Grace Wright. I'm the founder of Your Personal Best Training Studio where I help men and women over 50 to age actively, able to do all the things they love doing now and would love to do for the rest of their lives. Last Monday, co-owner Juan Guerrero suggested keeping a food journal so you could track your cravings. If you did that, well, great. You already have some good intel on your patterns. Many of my clients tell me they get discouraged if they have cravings, like it's a sign of weakness or something like that. It's not a weakness at all. Cravings are completely normal. Our bodies can crave some foods because they are hyper palatable, basically meaning they hit all the buttons when it comes to making our taste buds happy. Or we can crave certain foods because of associations we have with them. Like if you grew up in a home that had pizza every Friday night, you might associate pizza with fun, with comfort, and with family. But the downside is the foods we crave are usually packed with calories and they have very little nutritional payoff. It's how you handle your cravings that makes all the difference. And when you learn how to handle the cravings, they can actually start to feel a lot less intense. That's good news, right? Well, that's where my two tips come in. My tips are all about being prepared for the cravings before they hit. So tip number one, find yourself a diversion. That means knowing ahead of time what you'll do if you feel a craving kick in. Feel a mid-afternoon cookie craving coming on? Go for a walk. Are you craving chips while you're watching TV at night? Get out the foam roller or a lacrosse ball and do some SMR. SMR is self-myofascial release. Do this instead. The idea is to find something that is going to engage your hands, and your brain to help short circuit the craving. And tip number two, keep healthier options on hand. This one seems like a basic no-brainer, but it's important. And it's basically because, well, let's face it, it works. Make sure you have healthy snacks in your home. Here are some couple of ideas. You can keep some grapes or cherries in the fridge or maybe some crunchy edamame or turkey jerky in the pantry. And if you're headed out on a road trip or going to the movies, bring a healthier snack like a Whole Foods bar so you're not tempted by convenience store foods or the concession stand. Having a plan for your snacks will keep you fueled and less apt to have strong cravings. If you are looking for more coaching, or want help creating a personalized blueprint to help you reach your goals. Let us help you feel stronger, have more energy, and increase your stamina, flexibility, and balance with our 21-day longevity and strength program. Our team of certified functional aging specialists will help you extend the length and quality of your life by restoring your strength, improving your balance, and reducing your joint pain. There's a link to learn more about our 21 day longevity and strength program that can be found in the description of this video.